Yo, I wasn't sure if I wanted to address it just because, you know, I know that Snoop is going to get run through the mud if Eminem responds. But here we are. He dropped that little snippet. I haven't heard it. So I want to see I want to see what the hype is about. Roll it. Now, let me go ahead and get my uh, let me go ahead and get my thoughts about a Snoop and M diss out of the way and what it might do in terms of like their greatness, their status, those kind of things first, because I honestly don't think it's going to have the effect that a lot of people think it's going to have. First off, I am completely 100 percent on M side of this because because Snoop Dogg was disrespectful in his tone in terms of the way that he spoke about Eminem. Snoop has a different set of rappers that inspired him because Eminem is younger. So it's hard to get inspired by the younger generation and it's hard it's harder to like i guess you could say it's harder to put someone from a younger generation in your top 10 only because like i said they didn't inspire you they, they didn't they didn't they didn't mold the rapper you are they, they didn't they didn't spark the passion in you that you have to be a rap artist so i am in the same boat as eminem it's 100 percent all right that he has that he doesn't have eminem in his top 10 and like i said a lot of people aren't but it was at, it was after the fact it was after the fact he didn't say he was in his top 10 whenever he started getting disrespectful with his tone whenever he called him the great the great white hope and saying that if i could go a whole day without it listening to eminem and like that's all very disrespectful to someone who has had a clear a clear impact in hip-hop it's okay to not like his music and a lot of the old heads aren't gonna like his music but calling him the great white hope is basically saying at the same time that he is a guest in hip-hop when in actuality he has he has open more doors for rap than Snoop Dogg ever has. Now, like I said, Snoop Dogg is a legend. Even in my eyes, Snoop Dogg is nowhere near my top 10 or even top 20 on the list. Snoop Dogg is a legend in my eyes, but at the same time, his impact on the culture or the success that he's had as a rapper is very, is, is, it's big, but it's minimal in scale to what Eminem has had. There was a shot off of the side B that Eminem said, talking about like, I've seen rappers like blow up on their first album and then fade away. And that's basically my opinion on Snoop Dogg. Like, other than other than doggy style which is which is arguably a top 20 maybe even top 10 rap album especially as a debut album it's probably number one i would think i'd have to actually think about debut albums but there there, there is very little artist that had the debut that snoop dogg did at such a young age but after that even me knowing how in depth and in like in tune i am with hip-hop and some of my friends and some of my peers and people that listen to rap other than that one album i can't even name a single album Album that Snoop has put out after that much less call any of his albums after icons or call any of his albums after the original like like he just his career his career was built off of the one album off of some singles with Dr. Dre off of some singles with Nate Dogg and then like Pharrell's drop it like it's hot like that's it don't get me wrong Snoop is 100% an icon in the game but at this point he is more known for his social media presence he is more known for being a judge on these random shows he's more known for the for the Doritos commercials and the and the Corona commercials with Bad Bunny, he's more known for his for his Martha Stewart shit that he does than he is for actual rap and hip hop. The dude came in with a bang with Doggy Style and basically coasted his entire career after that one major hit, after that success, after after the partnership with Dr. Dre, which is another reason why it was kind of funny saying that Dr. Dre made him, which is true, Eminem, but Dr. Dre also made Snoop Dogg, and and Eminem has done more with Dr. Dre's influence than. Snoop Snoop has so it was kind of ironic that he said that in the original disc now having said that I don't think that the beef is gonna have anywhere near anywhere near the impact on Snoop's career that people say that it's gonna have like I I follow no life shack on Twitter and I saw that he tweeted or he retweeted something that one of his one of his subscribers said after he said don't do this to your career Snoop I disagree with no life shack on this opinion in the same way that his Twitter follower disagreed with him like nothing is gonna happen to Snoop Dogg's career they could beef all they want but these two are legends in the game that have a foundation that is set in stone in hip hop and rap. It's cool to see two legends battle it out. It's cool to see like these little minimal shots taken at each other. But if it goes in to be a deep ass beef and, and Eminem completely destroys, completely destroys Snoop Dogg, which he will. And that's just like Snoop is not that rapper to be able to come at Eminem like that. He's a good rapper. He's a good hit maker, but he is not a diss rapper like Eminem. That's that's honestly what he grew up on was battle rap. So. Snoop is the heavy underdog if they do go out of battle and he's a heavy underdog for a reason because Eminem is just, like, he's pretty
pretty much untouchable. The closest one that came was MGK. But having said that, even if Eminem destroys Snoop like in a, in a landslide way on a diss record, it's not gonna have any effect on Snoop Dogg. It's not gonna have any effect on the rap game. Not only are they major icons and the respect that they garner in the game is already set in stone. It's just like, it's that plus the fact that disses just don't have, they don't have the weight that they used to. With social media and with the presence that artists have and with the fan base becoming stronger and stronger because they can tap into the lives of their favorite artists every single day on Twitter, on Instagram. Back in the day with Ja Rule and Eminem and 50 Cent and, and Aftermath Records versus, versus Murder Inc., like you didn't know anything about the artists other than the music that they put out. So people held on to that shit and that shit mattered at that time. You can make a strong ass diss record, but it's not gonna do anything as much as it used to, especially when it's at Snoop or especially when it's at M. But having said all that, I do want to check out this little diss that that uh, that uh, Snoop Dogg made on on Instagram. I want to see I want to see how good it is. I want to see what shots he's taking, if any. Like it's just a Snoop Dogg diss just sounds funny to me. It's funny to me. It sound like oh shit. Okay, here we go. We're getting into battle mode. Nah, it's just like all right. Let's see what kind of cute shit he said. You know. All right, hold up, hold up. Let me let me let me load this up. It's gonna be like shitty audio quality, which is another another thing. Like, don't don't preview a track on Instagram Live. Like, that's Eminem has never had to preview a diss track to generate buzz. You know, that's already that's already a, that's already strike one on your on your diss. I gotta hit the gym though, but before I leave, just in case y'all thought. All right, now talk that shit to me. That nigga better leave me alone. He said he better leave me alone talking about Eminem like he's going to do something. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a bop, to be honest. Talk that shit to me. Like, that sounds like a bop. It just sounds, it's, it's very troll-like the way that he, the way that he's carrying himself in terms of like the way that he's carrying himself with, the, with this Eminem shit. It sounded very troll-like at the very beginning, and it sounds very troll-like right now, which is why, which is why I can't take a Snoop Dogg, a Snoop Dogg diss serious. Hey, uh, talk to me i can't really hear what he says but like the but snuff something about do snoop doop dog something about snoop dogs like uh icon status in the game is his very lazy and dread and like and like bouncy delivery it's very west coast it sounds fire i like and 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 understand that i'm not talking shit about snoop like like he's a bad rapper snoop is an amazing rapper and he always will be like this little that 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 like that little delivery that's that's tight he said pocket rocket for the pussies talk about like having a having a strap to 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 go at i mean i don't even know if he's talking about eminem throughout the whole song or if he's just writing a song and it takes certain shots at eminem do y'all actually think that snoop still lives that life i honestly don't know i mean i know he did like way back in the day but i don't know how i don't know how in depth he is with that life i don't know if he has hitters that are gonna go at people you know see like it's a good it's a good track i'm not gonna i'm not saying it. it's it's a hit but still like it's not it's, it doesn't sound like the entire song is gonna be like a straight diss at eminem it sounds like he's gonna take his shots and then and then talk his braggadocious shit and then go back to and then go might take another shot i, I just don't know i don't know i, I don't know how snoops did i don't know what snoops disses sound like i don't know i don't know what type of potency they would have as an actual true diss track you know what i'm saying if you have to tell people the alliteration that you're gonna do if you don't think that you're if you don't think that hip-hop heads or you don't think that people are smart enough to recognize the fact that you're a crip and you're going all c's in the alliteration 
I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's corny. It's corny to say, now I'm going all C's like you're doing something fire. Bro, check out the way I fucking do this alliteration right here. Bro, every rapper in fucking history, especially rappers who as good as today, especially rappers as good as Eminem, alliteration is a very simple thing in poetry. The fact that you're going all C's isn't something that needs to be fucking addressed. You ever seen that gif of that guy? He's like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you're going all C's. Who gives a fuck? It's not, it's not that, it's not that impressive. That one was fire. You play Superman, I'll be your kryptonite. Fuck your bitch. She wants some crypt tonight, like like a crip, like gangster. And Eminem had the track Superman, and he said, I'll be your kryptonite. That's a good little shot right there, for sure. And then going kamikaze for me and my concentration camps, boy, we had to take them back. It doesn't do anything just to mention Eminem's albums. You got to do something with it. But I get what he's saying. Like, he's going at kamikaze and then closed curtains when Eminem had when Eminem had the Eminem show and then encore, and he was literally sitting in open curtains. It's dope. It's, it's a good track. Like, it, like it's a bop. It, it could be a hit. It's got a good bounce to it. But still, this might be only, like, the third shot, or this might be the the only only thing that I even hear at Eminem and this is like oh all right I'm not like Eminem shouldn't even respond to this to be honest right <laughs> Yo, Snoop actually thought he did something right there, bro. <laughs> that was, it was a good track fucking whack this like I, I don't know what i mean and this is someone who wouldn't mind seeing someone come as hard as as mgk did like i want i want eminem to get punched in the mouth so that way he could have that like fire to come out with a strong as this but that that was that was lightweight that was undercard shit that was not main event type shit the only reason that this is even as big as it is is because it's two icons but but it's not even it's not even diss worthy from either one of them I don't know. I don't know. That is a good song, but it's a corny diss. That's that's all that I really got to say about it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hadn't heard the IG clip before, so I wanted to hear it. You know, Snoop Snoop does still got it as a rapper, and he always will. He's he's just naturally talented and gifted. You know that that's why he blew up and had the success that he had, and that's why Doggy Style is the album that it is. And that, but like I hadn't talked about it up till right now because it was nothing to talk about. And even this right here just solidified that purpose in my mind that like it, it's really nothing to talk about. You know. But that's it for me guys back to reactions back to normal videos next follow your boy on instagram twitter discord hit up the hit up the social medias you know all, all the links are down in the description below subscribe if you like my commentary but other than that i'll see y'all in the next video i've yeah whack peace